the Bluebell or the Lewis East Grinstead branch as it was then was a totally different world. David, Alan and I were all students. We've got to be very grateful for their idea. Chris Campbell had been in contact with us for some while. One thing you can say about British Rail, they were very good at closing branch lines. The line itself was nicknamed by the engine, the uh, Bluebell and Primrose line. When it was a sulky service of four trains a day, which ran at the times people didn't want. The timing of the trains, we looked at and thought, they don't seem to suit anybody. It was a railway novelty though, we'd done anything like this before, it was something completely new. Everything you need, a sea steam railway, run, run by normal ordinary people. I can remember just being told to your face that uh, you'd never succeed, it would never come off. We, we knew what needed to be done to make it happen, it was going to happen. David, Alan, Chris and I, we were barred from becoming trustees. It was just sad. It's like one great family. Really, you know. Talk to somebody about the blue girl, they never really who it is. Even thought of preserving more of the line. A president, Bernard Holden, it has been the one common factor that has run through Bluebell. It was a very ambitious plan. The culture was changing. I think we were just lucky. We'd spent a lot of time on Bluebell. John Roy, Captain Peter Manistee, Madge Bessemer. Nobody quite knew what was going to happen. When we purchased our first steam locomotive, Stepney, the thing was firmly off the ground. been anything like it before, as I say, in standard gauge preservation. So we were the pioneers of it.